Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve again from Virginia Beach. Today is Sunday, April 16th, which marks the two month mark after my minimally invasive T lift. T lift. Um, just a quick recap um, I had a multi level lumbar fusion on February 16th. Um, it was S1 through L4. Um, a lot of it was due to, you know, wear and tear, but then I was involved in a car accident and ended up basically fracturing, having two multi uh, parts defects on L5, L4. It was no other way around it. After two years of just not, well, more like 18 months of nonstop therapy, we just could not get better with anything. I've tried and I've tried it all. Also, you know, being a sports therapist, massage therapist, all that, you know, I definitely gave it a real strong go before we considered it, but it ended up being that I needed the surgery. So I did a couple other videos of, you know, the first week or pre, you know, stuff before the surgery, um, uh, you know, just prep work, uh, the first week, first two weeks. And I I'll tell you, uh, two months has, how has it been? Do I have any regrets? Those types of questions. Well, first of all, I'll say no. I don't have any regrets. I still feel overall positive with uh, the decision I made and how my back has felt. Um, I've been able to walk as far as 1.3 miles, um, which we'll get into that, but, and, and every one of those walks, you know, I, I didn't have any of the pain that I had prior to surgery, which was very unstable, um, weak, just hard to move. It, it, I just had a difficult time. And when I walked on concrete or anything like the store slabs, it was excruciating. Um, I've walked in stores, I've walked on concrete, all of that stuff, and none of it has bothered me ever since the surgery. The stability feels fine. I feel like I want to walk a lot. However, what happened around, I wanna say it started happening in week three, is where I can't necessarily say I had the greatest experience. Um, and I guess that's part of course. You know, any videos you see, a lot of people say they've had some things show up here or there. But what showed up for me was I don't know if it was um, nerve regeneration or nerve irritation, but it was 100% in my left foot, only the left foot. It didn't go through the calf, it did, well, a little bit through the calf, but it didn't go through the back of the leg, it wasn't in the hip, any of that. It was all left foot. And the sensation was incredible, like you couldn't blow on it, I couldn't... Uh, you know, when I showered, it was too sensitive. Anytime I stepped down, like if I stepped on the ground, I couldn't put pressure on it. It felt like I had a, a hot piece of coal in the ball of my foot. So I was, you know, I started, I couldn't put my heel down. And that progressively got worse and worse going into the fourth week, the first month. The fifth week was, oh, it was just excruciating. So it got to the point where I had to make an appointment and um, ended up seeing, uh, um, well, I saw my assistant first, my four week checkup and told the assistant about it. And then we did a steroid, a week of steroid, not to mention that'll make you gain weight and all these drugs and everything. I was trying to wean myself off, but it was, it was pretty much, it was a no go for me. I had to stay on the meds throughout that first month. It was just too much to bear. But we went on the uh, the steroid pack. It was like six, five, four, three, two, one, some some taper like that, to see if it would help because they thought it was just still the inflammation of the spine and all that, and it did nothing. So that set me up to seeing an injection specialist, which we were talking about doing this uh, epidural injection. Still not sure if we will or not, but um, but instead of that, or while I was waiting on that we uh, did PT. So I, I did a couple weeks of PT just to see how that went. And that actually started to become 
I really enjoyed that. It was a very nice facility, not far from my house. And um, I'm actually considering doing the back PT um, once I get to that point. But keep in mind, with my insurance, we only have 30 sessions a year. So I really wasn't trying to burn up all my early PT on the foot because I knew I was going to need it for um, when I got to the back. And I explained that up front to everybody. Look, give me the exercises. I'm very competent with doing it on my own. You know, I have a lot of different um with the house and my years of experience, I have some aids that can enhance things, uh, being a therapist, you know, so I have a gym, I have a, a pool. It's not ready to get in the pool yet, but I have access to things that can speed up the process. Um, so give me the exercises and I'll, I'll, I'll jump on them and I'll do them, you know, so that's what I was trying to push for, but it was just, it was so painful. I couldn't, I couldn't sleep at night. Sleeping has still been the hardest part of, of the whole experience. I couldn't sleep at night because my foot couldn't touch the ground. I had to get a compression sock. I had to put a sock on just to, so that my foot didn't touch the, the, uh, uh, the sheet. My wife uh, had to, when she would put my sock on or my shoe on, she couldn't touch my foot. So in a long, overall, what it ended up doing was, uh, taken away from the walk that I got up to, which was solid, about a mile. I was feeling great about that. Then I couldn't walk at all. So, and then I also had a lot of different people saying, move a lot, don't move a lot. And so I was questioning myself, did I do too much? Did I not do enough? I was battling with that a lot. And I guess we'll still, we'll find out coming up soon because Tuesday, April 18th, I actually see the neurosurgeon but seeing the spine guy, uh, we did some PT. And once I got back to him, I saw the assistant that he had. And we, we discussed how it was, what the feelings were. And I'm glad she was listening and really trying to come down to a solution. Because I was telling her, instead of going straight for an injection, I feel like maybe we need to see what's going on. What about an MRI? And they had already planned that anyway. So... They wanted to see an MRI to set up what the next, uh, what we would do next to find out if it was something from the surgery and kind of start ruling things out, which I felt like, I felt defeated. I, I won't lie, I felt, I, I stayed faithful that the process was good, but I, I can't lie that I was feeling a little down. Um, no regrets, just, man, here I am. I'm going through these horror stories that you, you hear about. And is this gonna last for me? And because that pain was so much to deal with every day for for the rest of your life or uh, I just can't. no so we uh I'm doing the PT and I'm actually slowly starting to feel better around the fifth fifth ish week sixth week and I've seen videos where people are like by week six you know it all of a sudden gets better and with the physical therapist we were talking about how she did think I, me pushing through with the moving would help it. The brain has to, the brain is shooting a signal down to my foot and it, it's recognizing throughout whatever path it's going that something's wrong, but the foot needs to tell the brain that it's okay. So we were doing a lot of desensitizing exercises and, you know, just foot and f exercises and things to really try to nerve glides and stuff to just get the foot to communicate to the brain that it's okay. And I stayed with it. And then it, it slowly started to actually feel better to where I was like, all right, I'm going to push through some of these walks again. So it's like I'm starting all over, all over again, you know, small walks again, a quarter mile here or that. My, everything just slowed down, but I just kept pushing. And I even walked through sand a couple of times because one time I walked through sand and it seemed like it hurt like crazy that night. But the next day I felt stronger. So it was a matter of do I push through, hurt? and then feel better, but, uh So I ended up doing the MRI. Um, I had to do a uh, with and without contrast, and that was tough because it was about 40 minutes in there. And I had to lay on my back, and you know, you, when you're laying on your hardware or your back flat, I felt a lot of the pressure into that area of the surgery. So in my mind, I played, some golf 
trying to just, that's how I do my MRIs. I visualize me being on the golf course and I literally just walk through like I'm playing. And in this case, I was creating a new swing. <laughs> so anyhow, starting to get long winded, but I'm now up to the point where we do have the results. I have the scan, the disc and everything of the MRI and it's wild to see and I'm not even gonna try to act like I know what I'm looking at. So I can see how they corrected the spine and how it's in alignment, but it's just gnarly looking. So I'm glad I have this because when I take it into the neurosurgeon, he can look at these scans, which means we don't have to do this stuff after I see him. I can go into them and have all these things because I will say the foot by week seven, it did start to feel much better for me. So again, like you, you may have heard, all of a sudden it gets better. Well, it kind of just all of a sudden started to get better. Mine was more about the week seven mark, going into week eight, all uh, the sensitivity started to go away. It started to feel like a normal foot. I'm able to walk more, but what it did cause was I started to feel my back now because of all the walking and limping. The pain was overtaking the back pain. And I think I compensated and did a lot of stuff on the back that I really shouldn't have as far as the compensation and trying to push through things. It wasn't necessarily the best positionings and, and, and posture. So my back now, even though my foot's better, my back has been aching like crazy. It's hard to move at night. It's sore. It feels like there's just that deep, deep in the bone type feeling. And it's the proof and reminder of how long this stuff takes. You know, I haven't gotten to any type of movements with my back, bending, lifting, twisting. I haven't done any of that. Um, and I can't even imagine kicking that in and how much, how, how hard that's going to be to rehab that. But I'm actually ready for that. That's where I feel like I am. So to recap all of this and sorry for getting long winded, because once you give a go, you just go. I don't want to retake it. The recap it was a painful process probably after my third into the fourth week all the way up through about week seven it was just a really tough physical mental battle me dealing with the nerve regeneration and um whatever what was going on the peripheral nerve damage um from the operation inflammation whatever it could be I've uh, started foot therapy and um, we're doing that once a week until we get word about what we're going to do after the neurosurgeon sees me. I did get a uh, MRI once again, which I did feel defeated that I was starting all over. I did this surgery to try to not have to do this and now they want to do epidurals and all. So I'm glad we went this way. Um, I'll see the neurosurgeon and he will hopefully discuss whether I take the brace off, what I do next, if I can increase what he sees is it's starting to fuse. I know they say fusion doesn't happen really until like the third or fourth month. But just get some more answers because I will say this one thing. About three nights ago, I had probably the worst pain I ever felt in my life. And I, I woke up out of my bed screaming of pain. And it was in my right quad on the lateral side. Out of nowhere. I don't know what that was. But I definitely need to mention that as well because that was unbelievable. It felt like someone was sawing my leg off and I just woke up in the middle of it. And I know that's pretty graphic, but I have no other way to explain it, like a gunshot, whatever. But it felt more like that the saw just the nerve. Oh my goodness. It lasted for about five or so seconds. And then throughout the day, it felt like I was burned inside on that area. So all this stuff I want to go bring to the neurosurgeon and hopefully get some answers as to where I go next. But I will say that that nerve foot pain thing has calmed down and I'm so grateful for that. And it is moving forward in the, in the right direction, I believe. And hopefully my back will calm down. I think I just need to take it easy. Um, doing a little bit of things around the house that I shouldn't be doing. And I'm not bending, lifting, twisting. I just, I'm just moving, standing and sitting too long. I think the combination of that. So guys, it does, I, I just got real long winded, but it does get better as I'm experiencing. You can have some nerve damage that's trying to regenerate, trying to reconnect. Just stay the course, keep moving, listen to your body, just, just listen to it and talk to your, your team. Ask them questions and all that because 
I went and got an MRI first before they started injecting into my spine again. So I think we could possibly avoid that altogether now that the foot is getting better because it's a PT and stuff. So talk it out your, with your team and hopefully, you know, just stay, stay positive as you're going through this process. Um, yours may be better, worse, I don't know, but they still say, and most people say that I'm doing fantastic. So I'll keep that and, and keep pressing on. So that's my two month update. And, uh, you know, I'll probably check back in maybe if something happens exciting or whatever, or maybe another month from now. So, all right, guys, hang in there. Until next time, peace.